What's going on, people? This video is for women, uh, mainly black women. And this is not for black women that are violent, that are short tempered, um, that have a hate for black men. This message is not for you. Lately, I've been seeing news articles where women have been attacked viciously by black dudes. I don't understand what's going on, but black dudes are on an entirely different, they're on a totally different vibe nowadays, man. Black women are not protected. We know that. We've known that for a while, but black dudes are on an entirely different, different thing, man. I don't, I personally don't even know what to call it, but I've been seeing news articles, man, where black females were being stabbed and being cut up and being beat and being shot by black dudes, man. I mean, I understand that there's dudes out there that, 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 that despise and that don't like black women. Um, I don't care what you say. And if you show any type of support for black women, they turn on you. Uh, you become a simp, you become gay and all kind of nonsense, man. Dudes are on a totally different level nowadays. And I strongly advise uh, women, mainly black women, to get your carrying concealed permit. You know, you guys really need to arm yourself, especially if you are a single black woman. It's like you have children. Uh, you have to protect yourself in your home. I watched a video, a news article where this dude in the Bronx, man, I don't know if he knew this female. He was banging on her door. And then they showed her in the hallway. Dude was talking to this female. All of a sudden, he just started slicing and dicing her, man. Cut in her face, her arm, you know, her leg. He was just slicing and dicing. No kind of mercy at all. And then he, like, left her, you know. And it, it angered me just to sit there and watch that. Now, I understand that there's a lot of grimy females out there. There's, do, there's females out there that provoke dudes. Um, I'm not. I don't promote violence. I don't support violence. Um, I believe people should uh, protect themselves. And I think if a dude is being attacked and uh, he, he can defend himself enough to get away from that female. But this dude, man, came to her apartment, was kicking on her door, and he was just slicing and dicing this chick, man, in the Bronx. So... If that female was armed, man, and she was trained and she was armed. And listen, you can't own a firearm legally and have a temper. You know, you can't just, the first thing you do when you feel threatened or when you get angry is to go grab your gun or threaten somebody just to try to scare them. You don't do that. You know, you have to have self-control to own a firearm, man, because I'm going to tell you, these firearms will talk to you. You know, and if you're not strong in your mind, you would answer them and then you find yourself locked up behind bars just because you can legally carry. Don't mean that that gives you a license to just take the life of someone just because of the fact that they angered you. Right. So I think that black women really need to start arming yourself, because if you don't have like brothers or, or nephews or uncles or cousins or somebody to protect you. Uh, to make their presence known at your apartment, at your house, because you'd be surprised at the number of people that sit back and observe and watch you. They watch your movement, man. They know when you leave, when you come back, they know who goes in and out of your apartment. They know who's, who goes in and out of your house. Um, and they see nobody but you and them kids. You know, you become a target, you know, so you have to, Give them the element of surprise. You know, when they think that you're by yourself, you need to give them the element of surprise, man, and just, you know, just blast a few holes in them. I think if that woman that was sliced up, I think if she was armed legally, man, she could have filled that dude with holes, man. And I wouldn't have had no kind of, no kind of compassion for him at all, man, the way he had no compassion on her. But I just think that, you know, a lot of y'all really need to seriously think Again, if you have a short fuse, if you have a short temper, um, you don't, this is not for you, okay? But if you have self-control, 
uh, you're a good person, you have good moral values and, and all that good stuff, I think you should really consider uh, taking some classes and, you know, becoming legally armed. You know, I know that it's difficult in, in certain states. I think uh, California, uh, Chicago, even New York, man, you can have your permit in New York State, especially if you're upstate, you know. But um, if it's just you and them kids, man, y'all y'all really need to um, to to arm yourself because you are a target. Single parent mothers are a target. And again, if you have no man to protect you, to look out for you and your kids, you you have to protect yourself, you know, and I strongly advise you to um, apply for your carry and conceal permit, you know, get some training, learn how to shoot, go to the range and perfect uh, your, your shooting and um, become legal, man, and, and protect yourself because 2022, you think 2021 was bad, 2022 is going to be worse when it comes to women being targeted, you know, so don't be a victim, you know, don't be a, be a victim, get your carry and conceal permit and arm yourself. So feedback, tell me what you think until next time. I'm fearless.